Let's move over to uh, some of the data uh, that, that you look at. Um, what, are, what are some of the ways that you hold uh, your team, yourselves, your hiring managers, executives um, accountable? And, and how do you measure that? Yeah, so we do it in a few different ways. So I can talk about kind of who should be responsible for the data and speaking to it and holding themselves accountable versus like what metrics you actually should look at depending on where you are. I'm going to start with the latter because that I, I'm sure you're all eager to know those things. So um, you know, depending on who you talk to, it's going to be different. Um, I'll speak to where a firm is or was and where they are now because um, most companies are the challenge that they're having. And a lot of you have joined this conversation because you're trying to figure out how to hire for more diversity, right? So you should stop at the. You should start at the 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 top of the funnel. Um, now there are going to be people who, not necessarily in this industry, believe that. I do um, because I think it it tells you a lot about what's going on. I think people are really eager to jump to higher stats, um, but as you know, there's a, there are a lot of steps along the way. And you have to build an exceptional candidate experience that's extremely inclusive to get to that hire. If you're only looking at the hires, you have no idea what's going on, what's working. If you're doing a really good job, awesome. Like, what's working? Can you share that with everybody, right? And what's not working, um, except that you might be hiring a bunch of engineers, right? So you got to start at the top and look at how many folks are applying. When you source... How much um, of your reach outs are actually going to folks from your underrepresented groups? Um, you know, how, you know how, when you look at referrals, um, how diverse is your existing workforce? And then those referrals, do they, do they actually move it away from the goal that you're looking for if you're hiring for more diversity? Or do they amplify it because you're already a diverse workforce? So you have to be really strategic in how you think about the top of the funnel. Yeah. And then once you get that right, and also your brand, like when people apply, do they convert? You have to look at all those things. And then as you start to go stage by stage in the process, you can then start to figure out, oh, are a bunch of people falling out at technical? Why is that happening? Do we see any themes there from a demographic perspective or not? Um, so you start to look at that and then you can look at the hires. Um, at least that is the mindset that I've always thought of. Um, now, who's responsible for that? A lot of times uh, folks say that it is recruiting's responsibility to hold the company accountable. I do not, I'm not from that mindset. First of all, I, I think the recruiter's responsibility is to empower, to educate, to promote, to ensure that the process, we're, we are, we are the, the champions of the process, mm -hmm. right? It takes, it takes the entire village to actually make that hire and to build a team. So the hiring managers really have to make sure that when they are bringing the team together to, you know, this is what we're, this is the focus areas and so forth and so on, they play that role. When there's a debrief, if we're going to move forward with the engineering or not, they are there, the recruiter's there, but they actually have the power to really uh, bring the people together on whatever the objective is. And the trust is within that team, that hiring manager is building their team. So we actually, in our engineering team, uh, they have to make, they make the business case. They talk about the metrics. We have regular meetings and we look at the entire funnel, have conversations around how diverse various teams are. Um, and so they, the engineering managers end up holding each other accountable rather than the recruiter holding the hiring manager accountable or vice versa. And that has actually really led to, um, you know, the conversations haven't been so fun. They haven't been that fun all the time either. They've been really, really difficult, but extremely healthy um, in, in helping us figure out kind of how to move the needle forward. So I kept that pretty high level. I don't know, Gabe, if you want me to dive in any deeper, but I think holistically that's, that's kind of the way to, to approach it. I think that makes a ton of sense, and we can wait to see if anybody else wants to dive in. I think one thing that you you said that uh, struck me is I spend a lot of time looking at the cases where somebody drops out of the funnel for for whatever reason. Um, but I have forgotten in the past to go back and look at where we've been successful and making sure that we're doubling down on that. So I have to remember those ways. Yeah, well. you've got to. You've <laughs> got to talk. Yeah, you've got to figure out why people are accepting, and then build that into your brand, whether it's in your you, the recruit the sourcers reach out or the recruiter's pitch, or in the hiring manager's close. Like, you've got to incorporate all that in there. Um, and also, 
if you have employee resource groups or community groups in your in your company, talk to those folks, survey them. Why did you join? Why are you still here? Do you feel supported? Like you, you definitely should work with whether it's your people team or your diversity inclusion manager or your people business partner, however you're structured. But um, there are folks there that have a lot of information that they can offer you rather than you trying to figure it out on your own. Back to what I was saying, it becomes everyone's responsibility. I think when we started this conversation, I was saying even down to an employee who's just coming day to day and doing their work can offer valuable information on how you can you know, improve the pace of your hiring and also increase diversity. And again, they can make sure that you're being authentic. That's great.